Welcome back students, my dear class 6 students. So we'll be starting our new chapter that is electricity and circuit, okay? In page number 116 in your NCRT science textbook. So this chapter is very practical and it's very relatable, clear. But yesterday in our fourth chapter, sorting materials into group, we left one topic, okay? That is grouping part, okay? Grouping part. Grouping, G-R-O-U-P-I-N-G. So we have discussed about objects and materials, right? So now th this grouping, this grouping is very important. Okay, this grouping is very important for objects or materials because I'll give you one practical example. If you go into it, any departmental store or if you go into a grocery shop, you will find all the objects are, uh, are placed differently, right? Like you'll see all the shampoos in one place, you'll see all the soaps in one place, and then in a departmental store you'll see uh, vegetables in one place, and then uh, you'll see all the materials, all objects placed differently, right? Or we'll not see a vegetable and a shampoo placed together, right? So everything, they are placed differently in groups according to their similarity in properties, similarity, uh, the similarity in their usage or the shapes. Clear? So this grouping is very important and it, is, it has made easier for us. Clear? Or the other uh, example for grouping can be if you go into any uh, chemist, or, okay, in a, any pharmacy, if you go into any chemist shop, you'll see that um, all the medicines would be grouped and placed and will be kept in a very different, uh, in a systematic way, clear. And the chemist who is there uh, knows everything, okay? So there is one trick and I'll let you, I'll, I'll, I'll share this, clear. If you ask any medicine starting with a letter B, okay, if you say betadine, okay, the chemist knows, he'll just take the medicine and then will give you, won't take time, okay? If you say stop egg, Okay, then he will give you a medicine. So why it is very easy for him to give you like a medicine in a snap? There are lots of medicines in the chemist, right? Because they follow an alphabetical order, A till Z, clear? Starting from A till Z, like they, they place the medicine. So whenever you ask any medicine, it's easy for them, clear? It's easy for them to give you that medicine. Because they know, okay, if you uh, ask at that all, okay, they know that D, it's placed this side. Okay, if you, if you ask any medicine starting from J or L, they know where it is placed. So grouping an objects or a material, this is very important and it is very helpful and it is easier for us. Clear? So we are done with that. We'll start with electricity and uh, circuit. Okay, now to start with this chapter, electricity is very important, right? All uh, starting from home, we can see that now uh, this light, clear, this current, now we can see a refrigerator, refrigerator, all at home we use many electrical appliances, clear? Now, uh, let's take example, let's take example of uh, a cell phone or a watch. Okay, these are also, they also run through a battery and they are all a source of electricity, clear? Now you see, when you see your television or when you see a refrigerator, they are not uh, wireless. They are always plugged in, clear? But do you imagine like using your cell phone always plugged in, a long wire hanging? You need a wireless, right? And even, the, uh, See, even headphones and all, we prefer wireless, right? And see, a, a watch, the watch, the, the watch uh, also have a battery. Okay, they run through a battery. So do you expect the watch always to be like plugged in with a wire? No, right? So now, uh, these are example of electric cells. Clear? Electric cells. So electric cells, are present inside the cell phone. They are present, present inside the battery. They are, they, they are present inside the watch and many more. Clear, and many more. So now, these electric cells, they, uh, they are made up, okay? They are made up of chemicals. 
clear? Chemicals. Now, they provide electricity, right? How? Okay, so I'll explain. Now, these electric cells, a group of electric cells is what we call battery, clear? A group of electric cell, cells, a group of cells is what we call a battery. And we all know battery is very helpful to all of us, clear? Now, if there's no current, we use torchlight, right? Torchlight. So torchlight runs with the help of a battery, right? So battery now is made up of electric cells. And these electric cells inside, I'll tell you the inside story, okay, about the battery today. So let's say this is a battery, clear? If this is a, just a battery. Now inside you'll see there will be two, okay, you, you will have like two terminals, a positive terminal and a negative terminal, okay? We'll see a positive terminal and a negative terminal. Now you can just have a look. You can just grab one battery and you can just see. You'll see a positive terminal and a negative terminal. Clear? Now, this positive terminal is also made up of metals, okay? It's also made up, made up of metal. And then this, now the negative terminal is uh, made up of zinc. Mostly it's made up of zinc, okay? Zinc. So now, we have two terminals now, plus and a minus. So this terminal is also a word like it's a, you have to remember, okay? This terminal refers to this two-side one. This one-sided is a positive terminal and one side is a negative terminal. And with the help of this, now this battery is able to produce electricity. Clear? Okay, so now, uh, this is also a battery, okay? Battery is also an example of a chemical energy conver converting into an electrical energy. Clear? So we'll see how this uh, battery works. And I'll give you an example of how torchlight works. Clear? How there is a glow in a torchlight bulb, okay? How do we get to see that glow in a torchlight bulb? So we'll see that now, clear? Okay. Now, let's take an uh, example. Let's, we'll, we'll take a battery, a normal battery, clear? We'll take a normal battery. So this is a normal battery, okay? So you all know a battery will have a plus and a minus. One side plus, one side minus. And now we will iron nail, okay? We'll take iron nail. We'll need iron nail, okay? We'll take iron nail. We'll take one iron nail and we'll join this iron nail here, okay? See, so this is a battery and this is an iron nail, okay? Just two things, battery, iron nail, clear? Okay, now let's take, uh, we'll tie this one with the help of a rubber, clear? We'll tie this one. So we have already tied a battery and a uh, iron nail. Okay, and see, you, uh, my classic students, you can try this one, okay? You can invent this, okay? So now uh, we have a battery, iron nail, and the one side of the terminal, we will connect this one with a wire, okay? A conducting wire. Okay, so now a conducting wire is here, and now we'll take a bulb, okay? Bulb. Bulb, okay? So the bulb will be, let's say, okay, so this is the bulb, okay? Now we'll take another wire, another wire, and before we, uh, we, before we fix the another, uh, join the another wire here, let's uh, take the, we'll, we'll join this another wire here, okay? We'll join the another wire here, and we'll join it with the metal part. You know, why? if you, See inside the wire, there's a metal part, right? So we'll join it with that one here. And now before reaching this, so this is also another wire. This is also another wire. A battery, iron nail, a conducting wire, a bulb. And here we have another wire, clear, another wire. And in this wire, we'll make a loop, okay? 
See, this wire will make a loop like this, so that we can insert this loop here inside the head of the iron nail. You know how the head of the iron nail, right? Iron nail, locally, it is called kujal, okay, if you're not familiar, kujal. So this is the head of the kujal, and this is uh, a part of a wire where we have made a round loop, okay? So that we can just put this round loop inside the head of the iron nail, clear? Okay. So now what happens is that now it is not joined. Now we have not inserted. So that means the switch we have not, uh, uh, now it is open, okay? Now it is not, it is open, right? Because we have not inserted yet. So what happens once we put this loop inside the head of the iron nail, now the result will be, you'll see a glow in this bulb. Clear? A glow in this bulb because now that shows that uh, the flow of electrons. Okay, now we'll see the electricity here, clear? We'll see a glow in this bulb here, flow of charge, okay? Because in this, now we'll see that the chemicals, I told you that these batteries are made out of chemicals, right? So this chemical uh, which is stored inside this battery is turning into an electrical energy. Okay, so sometimes you say that, ah, this battery is over, right? Why do we say that? Because the chemicals that we have inside the battery is already used up, okay? Once all the chemicals inside the battery are used up, we say that this battery is now not good anymore. Now we have to replace the battery in this new torchlight, right? So this is how you can make your own torchlight, right? You just need a battery, iron nail, and then a wire. Okay, a wire so that will join in this bulb, and then we'll, you you can make a uh, before in uh, you at the at, at the end you have to make a loop. Okay, so that you can insert the loop in the head of the iron nail. Okay, so I'm sure now you are clear with this how how it works, right? So um, now we'll talk about a conductor and insulator. Okay, now I told you that this is a conducting wire, right? Why, why did I say conducting wire? Clear? So now, we'll, uh, this is very important for, your, uh, for this chapter, okay? Conductor and insulator is a very important, ter important term, and you should know this. And science, you don't need to memorize. You have to learn, okay? You have to imagine. You, you should have good imagination skills. And all this activity, you can try. These are very simple, okay? So this is a simple activity which you can try at home, okay? And you'll see a glow in a bulb. Clear? So now we'll differentiate between a conductor and an insulator. So you have all seen a normal wire at home, right? A normal wire, okay? So now have you ever seen like inside there is a metal wire, right? First, you'll, it will be coated with, a, it will be coated with uh, a plastic or any form. But now uh, inside, the inside you'll see a wire, clear? So inside the wire, we have a metal thing like this, clear? So this is about the wire, okay? And now the outside, the outside will be covered with, will be coated, and the outside will be coated with an insulator, okay? So, okay, let's keep it very simple. The inside, the metal thing that we see is a conductor. Clear conductor and the outside which has been coated is an insulator, okay? So get familiar with these two words, conductor and insulator, okay? Insulator. So this is inside the wire, okay? So now conductor is any material where electricity flows through, okay, where current flows, okay? Conductor is any material where uh, current flows through it. Clear. Now, what about the insulator? It is a material where the current does not pass through. Clear? That's why, see, this is a good conductor. Uh, metal is a good conductor. So met metal, in the metal, we can see there, there is a flow of charge, right? That's why we get all this current. That's why we get light here. That's why your refrigerator is working, right? That's why you can charge your phone, because of this metal. Clear, but if we just keep this metal naked, since this is a good conductor of electricity, if we just keep it like naked, by mistakenly, if you just 
touch with your bare hand, what will happen? You will get a fatal shock, right? You'll get electric shock. It is very dangerous. It is very harmful, right? So we have to cover this one with a material which is not a conductor of electricity. Clear? So see, we need conductor and insulator as well, right? To run this. Because now, this is a very good conductor of electricity, metal. So now we need to cover this one with a material which is not a good conductor of electricity. That's why we see wires, we see that it is covered with a plastic, right? Now, the insulator example can be, wood is also uh, not a good conductor of electricity, right? But like metals, Metals is a very good conductor of electricity, right? So now from here, I'm sure now you are familiar with a difference between uh, conductor and insulator. Conductor, it is any material where current flows. And insulator, it is a material where the current does not flow. Very simple, okay? Where current flows, conductor. Where current does not flow, insulator. That's why in the previous activity, I told you conducting wire, right? Conducting wire. Clear? So now I'm sure you're clear with the conductor and insulator. Now we'll end with uh, one simple activity, okay? We'll end with just one simple activity. And this is just an, uh, another uh, example of this conductor and then uh, insulator. Clear? Now the same thing here, we'll take a battery. Clear? We'll take a battery. And then we'll have a bulb, clear, a bulb. So we have, so this is the bulb, okay? And then this is, let's say this is a conducting wire, this is the bulb, clear? This is a bulb. And now here, now this is a battery, okay? A battery will have a plus and a minus, clear? And here, okay. Now it is open, right? It is open, so now we can just, uh, we can just join these two wire, okay? We can just join two wire. We can just join two wire, we'll get, we'll see that the bulb will glow. But now I want you to try, okay, we'll take a okay, practical example. You have uh, a screwdriver at home. You can just do with that, okay? The screwdriver, once, okay, you can just try, you can just tie the wire, okay? You can just tie the wire with the metal part. Clear? You can tie the conducting wire uh, with the metal part of the screwdriver. What you'll observe? You'll observe that the bulb will glow because metal is a good conductor, right? Now, the next, you try with, uh, you try with the, the plastic part, okay? In a screwdriver, you see that in a screwdriver, you see uh, a metal part as well as a plastic part, right? So first you tie the wire, the conducting wire with the metal part. You'll see the bulb will glow, clear? But now if you tie, the next thing, you remove that. And then the next, when you tie the wire with this plastic part, the bulb will not glow, clear? The bulb would not glow because this is a bad conductor of electricity. So it's very simple. So now be very, uh, I, be very clear with the conductor and insulator with this concept, okay? And uh, if the bulb does, okay, if you're connecting it with the metal wire, but if the bulb is still not glowing, that means the problem is with, with the bulb. The, uh, it might, the bulb is not maybe not good, you have to replace the bulb, okay? So uh, that is all for today. We are done with conductor insulators. We are done with a simple uh, introduction to electric current. We'll continue with another interesting topic in our next class. So thank you so much, my dear class six student. We'll continue in our next class.